Okay, this next video outlines the problems I had. I got a, I got a generator, sorry. These are the problems that I had. I bought this generator off of eBay. It is a motor scooter generator. It's called the MY1016 voltage 36 VDC output 350 watts. Now here's the dumb thing that I did. Rated speed 2500 RPM. Now here's the other thing that's a problem with this with this little unit is it spins real easily sort of, right? But it's not enough like this will this is my skateboard that I mounted on the shaft, skateboard wheel, I mean. And it basically it stops it. So I don't have the wall up, but so partially is because I have a dry rotted tire on this bicycle. But also this seems to be working okay but it's barely I mean you need a lot more wind to make it blow and then here's the next thing that went wrong I have this 325 watt power inverter which is different from the one I keep in my car in this respect it has it has a male and female which gives me the option to hook up a different power source from the uh, the uh, ba uh, cigarette lighter Now here's what went wrong. This is a reflection of my very poor understanding of how electricity works. Once I hooked this up, this became very difficult to spin. Now I read in the forums and on YouTube that this was going to become harder to spin only when actively charging the battery or working under a load. But this isn't under any kind of load. Well, see that this is not under any kind of load at all, yet nevertheless, it produces even more resistance on turning the rotor. I've got this. My idea was to get the darn thing spinning and see if I can make this light bulb glow. But there's, you know, too much resistance already with this. It just stops the wheel. See that? But then I've got the additional resistance on the rotor with those wires plugged in that it just, just doesn't work okay so this was my motor scooter motor I guess now I gotta try a different alternator what are your suggestions what did I do wrong besides I know I chose an alternator with a rated speed of 2500 rpm that probably was pretty dumb considering I need to be around probably around 200 in a good wind, I get this tire here to rotate at about 120. And so, and plus, if I choose a larger diameter wheel, something like this, maybe from a dryer or a, or a caster from the bottom of a, of, a, uh, of a mop bucket or something like that. We don't come down here, no, there's moving parts down here, you get your hair caught in it. So I would like some suggestions. Should I just choose a, 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 a motor that's rated at a lower RPM? Is that the only criterion I need to look for? Or is there something else I need to be looking for? Thank you very much. Info at wideworldoftrees.com or uh, leave me a comment in the comment sections of the, uh, of the YouTube channel. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, it was... Um, it was Kulai Lot who told me I should get a 
a scooter motor, this RPMs are just too high. So uh, I welcome the next suggestion. And I will leave you with a couple of more minutes of this spinning with the benefit of the bulkhead protecting it from the backside the full force of the wind I think you can probably see just there that it spins better with that bulkhead up protecting it from the headwind on the backside of the spin so we've got much much better rotation here I just need a better way to hook up to a generator. The skateboard tire to bicycle tire was not the great idea that I thought it was. There's just um, there's too darn much resistance on that on that particular generator. Oh, there's another problem that I have. This is regularly threaded. And if I was smart, I would have built it. Well, I can't. I, it's, I'm, I guess I could have turned the bike on its, on its other side. So the problem with this is that the um, it works its way loose. This nut works its way loose because it's spinning, uh, you know, lefty loosey. I'm gonna figure out a way to do that because the shaft isn't long enough. The shaft isn't long enough for the locking mechanism on this lock washer to engage. And so I just got it cinched down real tight. And plus, since this is a you know just a cheap piece of plywood, it's a warped board. And so I put this um, circular saw blade on here. I don't know if it's helping or not, but the washer effect raises it another quarter of an inch. Because for a while there, the board was skimming and it was bumping right here so I've got it so it's not doing that anymore focus uh, sorry people the board was bumping there it's not anymore again thank you for tuning in welcome your suggestions clearly I need a different alternator generator motor uh, info at wideworldoftrees.com or comment in the YouTube channel. Thanks again.